Hi and welcome to Best in Tesla. 2021 seems to be the year of the EV pickup truck. We have several pickup trucks coming out in 2021 and of course a lot of bells and whistles from many other companies with their concept pickup truck. But are there any of these trucks that can rival the Cybertruck? And are they any good? Well, let's take a close look and let's dive right in. Let's take a look at what is coming in 2021. The first one to market, I believe, is going to be the Rivian with their R1T. And this car is no joke. It is very cool and capable pickup truck. With tons of features like the huge front, the gearway, the tank turn, and of course, being a car of 2021, it can do over the air updates. As I said before, you gotta be able to make over the air update in 2020. And the specs of the car are awesome as well. 0 to 60 in just 3 seconds, can tow 11,000 pounds, and it has a huge 180 kilowatt hour battery, which gives it an awesome range of 400 miles. And the look of it is of course very subjective, but they went a totally different way than Tesla and wanted to make a pickup truck that didn't look like something out of the future, but looked like a normal pickup truck. And it does, just with fancy headlights. It is definitely good looking, but also a bit boring in my opinion. But this truck will make you smile, and is really meant for the high-end customer who loves going on adventures. Because you will get a great pickup truck. No, no, you will get an awesome pickup truck with zero emissions. But the starting price is going to be $69,000. So the fully spec'd out model will be more than $100,000, presumably. But for the people it is market for, I don't think it really matters. But it is expensive, but it's also a great truck. And the only one that can really rival Tesla's performance. As we will look at in just one moment. Because Lord Town Motors unveiled its plan to join the growing electric car market with its first vehicle dubbed Endurance. The startup based out of Lordstown, Ohio, will take over the former General Motors plan to build its first electric truck. CEO Stephen Burns believed the Endurance has all the ingredients for success after the company have spent time and money developing all-electric truck that is capable of sports-like acceleration and handling. Hmm, where have I heard that before? Burns said people are buried in their Ford F-150, they have so much loyalty to it, but we are essentially coming in with a 75 mile per gallon pickup truck. In the end, cost is king, and we have the least expensive pickup truck. Yeah, if you compare it to the Ford F-150, you, you do. But, Lordstown says the endurance will cost 52,500 and will give the owners 250 miles of range and 7,500 pounds of towing capacity. So the least expensive pickup truck is bending the truth a bit. And the specs are not even close to Rivian, but it is of course a much more affordable EV pickup truck, but they still have a long way to go to bring this car out in 2021. So I don't believe they're gonna be able to make this car before 2022, but time will tell. Another one that is coming out in 2021 is the Bollinger B2. I think the look is just as polarizing as the Cybertruck, but I will not talk much about this one because I believe this will not be sold in high volume because this pickup truck is simply too expensive and don't have the specs to back it up. It will only have a range of 200 miles and cost $125,000. That right there kills it for me. Not going to be in competition with Rivian or Tesla, too expensive and don't have the range. You can get two dual motor Cybertrucks for the same price of one Bollinger B2. Ah, no thanks. 
And I know Nikola has said they're coming out with a pickup truck and you can right now put down a deposit for this truck. But I want to see Nikola put out just one vehicle on the road before I start trusting this company. They have so far been all talk, but have been talking a lot and been saying they have the best and most efficient battery pack in the world. So it all sounds promising, but they have so far shown nothing. So not going to talk about this truck because I want to see it in customers' hands before I believe it's coming out. And there are a lot of other concept EV trucks out there as well, but to bring something from concept to real life can take years if not decades, so we will not talk about them in this video. So Rivian is something that is just about to come out, and is something really cool. But it can't really rival Tesla when it comes to the specs and price of the vehicle. Rivian have a 0 to 60 time in just 3 seconds and a range of 400 miles, a towing capacity of 11,000 pounds. Price tag from 69,000. From. And the range of 400 miles is up to. So up to 400 miles. So I don't really think you're gonna get the 400 miles for your $69,000. Because it will come in three different size battery packs, a 105, 135 and the 180 kilowatt hour battery. So I do believe the from price is for the 105 kilowatt hour pack. But the up to 400 miles you have to get the 180 kilowatt hour pack. So still waiting to get all the prices for all the different models. But my guess is that for the 105 kilowatt hour battery, you will get a 250 mile range. And that is for the price tag of the 69,000. The 135 kilowatt hour battery is going to get you 300 miles of range and the price would go closer to 80,000. I think the cheapest guess would be $77,000. And probably these one with less battery power will also have less acceleration. And the one everyone is talking about, the 400 mile range with the 180 kilowatt hour battery that will probably cost about $89,000 or no less than $85,000. And all these prices I think is all from prices. I think they will come with a lot of options and add-ons. So the maxed out R1T with all the trimmings is probably going to be closer to $100,000. But we still have to wait and see because they don't give any details about this or the different price points even when you try to pre-order the truck. We do have all the price and specs for the Tesla Cybertruck though. A 0 to 60 time in 2.9 seconds, a range of 500 plus, whatever that plus is going to be, miles of range, towing capacity 14,000 pounds and a price tag of 69,900. And that is the maxed out Cybertruck. You can get a Cybertruck for only $40,000. That can rival pretty much all the other pickup trucks like the Endurance and Bollinger B2 and so on. The only thing you can add on the price for the Cybertruck is $7,000 for the full self-driving package. So this price tag of the Cybertruck is really what stands out the most. But the Rivian is definitely a compelling pickup truck and the specs of the truck is really good. And I think the Cybertruck and the R1T is appealing towards two very different markets and they will be the first to bring something to the market. Rivian will beat Tesla to the market, but there should be plenty of room for them both to grow, no problem. As of right now, of course, there is no electric truck currently being manufactured or produced. However, 2021 seems to be the year of the electric pickup truck. With Rivian planning to build the R1T in the beginning of the year, the Tesla Cybertruck being produced at the end of the year, and Lordstown Endurance with a planned rollout in 2021 and the Bollinger B2 coming out in 2021 as well. So there are plenty of competition in the sector. And all these pickup trucks that is coming out is all from startup companies once again. Not the big old boys like Ford. I really think 2021 is going to hurt Ford badly. Ford has said they're coming out with the Ford F-150 all-electric pickup truck in 2022. Ouch. And the specs of the pickup truck is less than the Rivian with a range of 300 miles, but the price tag 
probably about a hundred thousand dollars. That is what people are guessing because we simply don't know yet. But if this is going to be true, Ford is in serious trouble. Because Ford did invest in Rivian, so I do believe some of Rivian's technology is going to be in the Ford 150. So why would you buy the Ford 150 for a hundred thousand dollars and get less specs than the Rivian R1T? That cost about the same or maybe a little less, because you would probably get the 300 mile range with the R1T with the medium sized battery. If Rivian really can scale up production, and they of course still have to show us they can do that, but if they can, I think they will steal a lot of Ford's launch money together with the Cybertruck. Two new kids on the block who is going to show the old boys how this is done. So good luck Ford. So the electric pickup trucks are coming out, but even the best ones can't really match Tesla when it comes to specs and no one gets close to the price point. It was also one of the biggest surprises of the reveal beside the look of the truck. And, but it's gonna... and Tesla did just recently, as I mentioned in my news episode, officially open up the pre-orders for the Cybertruck in China. And the truck already have about 700,000 pre-orders and now the world's biggest EV market is getting in on the action, where Tesla already have shown that the Model 3, that even in China with the most competition in EV market, the Tesla Model 3 is still by far the best selling EV in China. I think this votes very well for the Cybertruck. Maybe this truck will be the first EV with 1 million pre-orders. Well, Time will tell. So 2021 is the year of the pickup truck and yet another year where Tesla will show the rest of the world just how big their lead in EV technology is and will start selling the Cybertruck like crazy. Together with some of all the other startups. So going to be interesting to see how much this will hurt someone like Ford. It was uphill. Who is heavily dependent on their huge sales number from their pickup trucks. So I do believe that 2021 is going in many ways to be a landmark for Tesla's so far crazy history. But what do you think? Is Nikola going to come out with something in 2021? And would you rather have the Rivian or the Cybertruck? Let me know in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, you should consider subscribing. I come out with videos like this all the time and I have a weekly news episode every Sunday about Tesla, Elon Musk and everything in between. And if you can't wait until Sunday and want the news as it comes out, don't forget to follow me at Twitter. I tweet all the news in there as well. If you already subscribe, thank you so much for your support. If you want to support the channel even more, remember you can for as little as $1 support this show and get your shout out on this channel. You can go over to patreon.com slash best and Tesla and see all the perks you can get in there. And to all my patrons already supporting the show, thank you so much for your support. Really appreciate it. And thank you for watching. And until next time, take care out there and be nice.